Hi guys, welcome. We are here today. Um, we are Palm Desert High School alumni, graduating class of 2004. And we really benefited from the grief group that Tom put on for many years while we were there. And we're here today to tell you more about that and to share our experience with you. We're gonna start introducing ourselves. Uh, my name is Rhea Chorba. I was Rhea Pescador back in high school. I am 34. And I'm so glad I had the experiences I did with grief group because I think it opened up my mind to seeing that talk therapy is helpful. It is not something to be ashamed of. And especially doing it together, there's really unity in numbers, for sure. Carolyn, take it away. Hi, I'm Carolyn Sue. I was Carolyn Levine back in high school. Um, I lived out of state. I live in uh, Houston, Texas now. I did grief group for two, three years, somewhere in there. And it was so helpful in getting me through high school. I went through a lot of really traumatic things at that point, And it really helped me to open up to people and actually start talking about those things so that I can learn to process them. Calista? Hi, I'm Calista Vassius. Uh, I was also Calista Vassius in high school. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> class of 2004. Um, going to grief group, uh, I think for initially for me, I went to support some of my friends who are here with us today. And um, it was really great to connect on that level because I don't think that I, I mean, I love my friends dearly and we could talk about anything, but I think that it really gave uh, me an opportunity to talk to people on a deeper level than I knew how to communicate. Ashley. I'm Ashley Medina. I was Ashley Schrader back in high school. Um, I also now live out of state. I live in Georgia. Um, I really appreciated grief group and having just an opportunity to have those intentional conversations. Um, sometimes like even though we have a great group of friends, um, it's hard to even know when and how to start those conversations when you're processing hard losses or you're going through a rough time. And so it was really helpful just to even have a space and a place to feel safe enough to start those conversations. Um, and it even helped encourage me to continue doing that. And I was able to, um, because of my experience in group group, I um, felt in a confident enough to go to counseling for a couple of years while I was in college and really finished working through a lot of those things. Nice, so our first question we're gonna throw out there. I'll say the question and answer it myself. So you have some time to reflect on it and then we'll pass it around the group is what was it that made you originally open up about the things you were dealing with? So for me, I, my reason that I went was I had a family member that had committed a lot of crimes against my family and that was really hard to deal with that someone within um, our home would be so destructive to our family. And going there and seeing that even being 14, 15, there were peers that I may not have known as friends, but I knew them as acquaintances that had other real problems that may not have been just like mine, but their pain was pain just like mine. And I think that's what made me, because the first two times I don't even think I mentioned why I was going to grief group because Tom was very sensitive to let you share that on your own. But after people started sharing, I have this problem, I have that problem, I think it was others sharing that gave me the opportunity to say, I want to share too. I agree with you, Rhea. I'll take it over. <laughs> um, I was at grief group uh, supporting my friends and hearing everybody speak. And it really, uh, like Tom was the nicest person in the world and just a calm, caring person who would, give you the time to speak. And if you weren't ready to speak, there was no pressure to do it. Um, so after attending a couple of grief groups, I felt like I wanted to open up as well and really got the opportunity to, um, to share with a group of people, not just my friends who I was there with, but also people I hadn't really talked to um, at school, even though we'd seen each other around school. Um, and, and that was really important to feel like you had an opportunity to speak if you wanted to, but you weren't required to. Yes, I'll jump in. I definitely agree with both Rhea and Calista on this. Um, I did go as well originally to support a friend who was going through some really hard things at the time. Um, at the time, nothing was really particularly happening in my life. And then um, things started to escalate with some things in my life, traumatic things happened. 
And I don't remember if I initially shared them, but by that point I had already discovered that this is absolutely a safe place. Like Calista had said, there's a lot of people in there, not just friends that you know, but people you've seen around high school that you wouldn't necessarily just walk up to and you know, share everything from your life with. But we've already kind of established that is a safe place to go ahead, talk about anything that you possibly need to talk about. And you're going to be heard, you're going to be listened to, you're going to be comforted, and you're going to be given that space to work through things. Yeah, I mean, I agree with what all of you ladies have said. I think um, for me, initially going um, was um, a little nerve wracking because, you know, you don't really know what you're walking into. And so, but it just having that safe place, I think, um, for me was really encouraging and having the opportunity to share what was going on, um, was really valuable. Nice. And I wanted to add one more thing that I think is we'll all agree on in grief group. It's a place that existed without clicks. You had your popular people, you had your band nerds, you had the dance team and you, all of us fit into some category and we really stayed in our bubble. In grief group, it's as if all of that fell away and we were just teenagers, that it didn't matter who your friends were. You could support somebody else and it was okay. You could see them in the hall the next day. You might wave, you might not. Didn't really matter. But in that one hour, we were all equal and there was no division. And that was a yeah. big deal for sure. And there Maria, to add on to that, yeah. I just wanted to also say, um, everything that we shared in grief group stayed in grief group. That was one of Tom's first rules. That was the biggest rule. And we never saw anybody try to break that um, to the point where we probably, if we didn't talk to that person on a normal basis anyways, we didn't talk to them outside of grief group, but it was okay. Kind of had like an, like an AANA type element to it in that you go, you speak to those people. And then outside of that, you don't, I don't say you don't know them, but you don't know them if you didn't already because it kind of kept that element of anonymity, I guess. Definitely.